Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Apex Avion Pendulum deck for November 2014. Um, I've been mixing around with a lot of different styles in which you can utilize Pendulum monsters. And aside from Cliffords, there aren't really too many competitive uh, decks out there. But the Apex Avion build is a very fun deck. I've seen a lot of different styles of the deck uh, made. The whole purpose of the deck is to use Apex Avion as your main monster. And to repeatedly pendulum summon as many copies of him out as you can. Because with his effect, you can really lock down your opponent from doing a lot of different moves. So let's go ahead and give you guys my version of the deck profile. Uh, the main card of the deck is Apex Avion. You have to run three of him. His effect is when an effect is activated, you can select one face up Miss Valley card you control, return that Miss Valley card to its owner's hand, negate the effect's activation, and destroy the card whose effect was activated. So basically with his own skill, you can return him to your hand to negate whatever effect was activated on your opponent's side of the field. And if you have a pendulum scale set from 1 to 8, you can pendulum summon Apex Avion back next turn. And let's say he's bottomless when he's summoned, you can immediately just resolve his effect, return him to your hand, and then wait next turn to get him back out again. So if you can get three of him in your hand and successfully pendulum summon him, uh, there's not much your opponent can do to respond to that. I also run three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, along with Time Gazer and Stargazer Magician. He is the Pendulum Monster which you use in the deck. Along with Apex Avion, he's another heavy hitter which is nice to get out with a Pendulum Summon after you complete the Time Gazer and Stargazer scales. And he helps search for whatever other Magician you need for the scale set. I also run three Stargazer Magician. Like I said, him and Time Gazer are the best Pendulum Monsters to use. Uh, with uh, this deck. Time Stargazer Magician's scale is pretty easy to get out. Uh, Time Gazer is the one you have to worry about. Uh, basically because I do run three Time, Gamer, Time Gazer Magicians as well. Uh, basically because um, you want to have consistency and get these guys in your hand as fast as possible. Odd Eyes really helps. And what's great about Time Gazer's effect is you have to control no monsters to activate his scale. Uh, but that's not a problem with Avion because after he returns to your hand, um, you, most of the time your field is pretty empty, allowing you to activate the Time Gazer Magician scale in case it gets destroyed. I also run three Hanzo. I like running the Ninja variant basically because with Hanzo's use of the trap card Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, it allows you to get Apex Avion onto the field much faster, allowing you to avoid drawing the card. You want to draw the cards that are vital to getting the Pendulum Scale set, so you don't want to have to draw things like Apex Avion. And Hanzo allowing for him to search for the Ninjutsu card, and then allowing the Ninjutsu card to search for Apex Avion, takes a big amount of your deck away. I also run three Flamefell Guards. Um, basically running this card just for tuner options, synchro options, because I also run the card Cons Cards of Consonants, which we'll get to later. Um, this card allows for synchro summons, a lot of different plays, draw power, because I'm also running one of each of the E-Dragons. Uh, you want to have vital level 7s in the deck. You already have Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, and you also have Apex Avion, which is a big assortment of level 7s. And with the E-Dragons uh, to work with in the deck, they work very well with the Flame Veil Guards. And with their um, very easy special summons, you can special summon them via Pendulum Summon, via their own skill if possible. Uh, you can go for rank 7s, uh, level 8 synchro summons, whichever you need for the situation. And they just add a lot more consistency to the deck. Um, that is it for the monsters. Let's move on to spells. I run 3, my body is a shield. Uh, this card is really good just because this is a pretty fast uh, base deck, so you need some pretty good counter uh, reacting to your opponent. And this effect is when your opponent activates a card that has the effect that destroys one or more monsters on the field, you can pay 1500 life points to negate the activation of the card and destroy it. I like running my body as a shield basically because you get big pendulum summons off. You don't want your opponent to activate them something that could screw over your plans. Uh, basically like bottomless, torrential. I mean torrential is not as bad as bottomless because most of your pendulum monsters will just go to the pendulum zone. And there are times when maybe you don't have Apex Avion on the field to negate those activations and you don't want to lose your E-Dragons or anything like that and have them go to the graveyard or banish. My body as a shield really helps in those situations. 
Plus, I also run one day a piece just for that draw consistency, buys you an extra turn to get your plays together. Uh, three upstarts, like I said, you want to get through the deck very fast, and upstart helps. Uh, life points are irrelevant once you can get your Apex Avions out on the field. Uh, one Sacred Sword of seven stars. You're running plenty of level seven monsters, so basically just that extra draw power. Uh, the one thing I do recommend to avoid is not to use your Apex Avion for the requirement for Sacred Swords. Use anything else if possible. You want to keep those guys in your hands for the Pendulum Summons. Um, and three Rota. Uh, basically run three Rota because Hanzo, easy search target. Like I said, this card adds on to the Hanzo search. Use Rota to search for Hanzo. Use Hanzo to search for the Ninjutsu. Search the Ninjutsu to search for the Apex Avion. Takes three cards out of your deck very fast. And I also run, like I said before, three cards of consonants. This one works well with Flame Bell Guard just for more draw. You have so much drawing going off in this deck. Um, if you cannot get off your Pendulum Scale and your Apex Avion Summon uh, within the first couple turns, uh, I really doubt that that'll happen. And I also run three Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Uh, basically, this card... Um, helps to get Apex Avion out a lot faster with Hanzo. Use this card, Tribute the Hanzo, Special Summon the Apex Avion. You have one card on the field that can negate a summon, and then you can return it to the hand and Pendulum Summon it again later. And I also run one Torrential Tribute, just because of those field swarms you want to avoid. You want, you want to be the one field swarming, you don't want to let your opponent get those field swarms off. That is it for the main deck. We'll move on to the extra. I run one Dracosac and one number 11 Big Eye. Just those rank 7 uh, targets that you want to go into. Um, I highly refrain from using them too often. Utilize Apex Avion as much as you can. Don't use Odd Eyes as much either because when you use Odd Eyes in a rank summon, he'll go to the graveyard since he was a material and not the actual monster. Use these guys only if you really need to in those situations. But other than that, learn to use the monsters themselves to get you out of jams. Plus, uh, one number 101 arc, one Maestroke, one cowboy. Uh, these are basically, if you're ever stuck with just uh, blank Hanzos on the field, one Alucard, one Levier. Um, if you ever get out your, I think it's called Time Gazer Magician. I always get the two mixed up. Yep, Time Gazer Magician. If you ever get those guys Pendulum Summoned on the field, um, and for your level 8s, one Stardust Spark, one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, one Scrap Dragon, one Crimson Blader, one Stardust, one Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, the level 8s are probably the ones I go into the most, just because with Flanvel Guard, very easy. Uh, one Goyo Guardian and one Armades. The Goyo is when I synchro with the Stargazer Magician with a Flanvel Guard, and the Armades is when I synchro with a Hanzo and a Flanvel Guard. So, yep, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.